Welcome back to Two Cents, a place where your opinion is actually needed. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification bell. I do post notification shout outs in every video now, so if you would like a post notification shout out, make sure you just let me know in the comments and I will shout you out in one of my future videos. That leads me to the shout out for today's video. So today's post notification shout out goes to, it's either Shan or Chan Bond. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for turning on your post notifications so you can be updated with all the new videos that I post. But that being said, I'm just going to hop right into this email. Real quick before I do though, if you are new here, please read the description box before you ask any questions in the comments. So I'm just going to go ahead and read this email. So it says, I saw the other emails on your YouTube about people having sexually transmitted diseases and I like how you don't say names. My story isn't super shocking or anything, but I do need advice. I'm a woman in my 20s and I have I have been HIV positive for about four years. My cheating dirtbag ex gave me HIV from sleeping with girls from Craigslist. Yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, I'm seeing this guy and we've been spending a lot of time together. He is really nice and treats me how I want to be treated. We haven't had sex yet, but we've come pretty close. I won't let it happen because I know it's literally illegal to have sex with a person knowing you have HIV and not disclosing that information to them. But I can tell he's starting to get annoyed with me not giving it up. He's not really pressuring me to do it because I want to do it too, but I feel like time is running out. We've been seeing each other for about three and a half months. I literally haven't ever dated anyone else that will wait that long. The reason I'm so hesitant about telling him is because I think he'll ghost me. We've kind of talked about the topic before and he acted like he was grossed out. There was this fake thing on Facebook saying that Magic Johnson donated blood. We both knew it was a fake article, but he literally talked about it for 15 minutes saying how disgusted he was by that and it really gave me an insight on how he feels about this kind of thing. I'm so scared because I really like him and I feel like I'm falling in love. I know that I'm going to eventually have to tell him, but I just don't know how. What if he leaves me? I feel like I'm I feel like I'll never find love if this if this doesn't work out if you tell him and he leaves or he doesn't want anything to do with you then he that wasn't for you like what's for you is for you so if if you tell him and he stays with you then that's for you but if he if you tell him and he leaves then you know he wasn't for you anyways you'll eventually find someone if you have anything to say about this situation or you want to leave your two cents down in the comments make sure you do that also once again please give this video a thumbs up it really helps out my channel subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video